channel it's your girl colors and I'm back with another video and today's video is gonna be all about my newborn starter kit essentials type of video these are the things that you really don't want to think about when you're coming home from the hospital that you just want to be able to grab in your little caddy and just kind of give to your baby when they need it now I thought this was a pretty good video to start off with since it's kind of been a while since I've really been really on it with my videos and obviously I had another daughter if you are new to the channel I have two baby girls two under two one 15 months and one three months so because I pretty much been pregnant two years straight I feel like I got a pretty good grasp of what I feel newborn needs now newborns are all different both of my girls are pretty much different but they are a lot the same in a lot of ways too. So I don't know. I just hoping that by telling you these things and a little bit of tips to go along with it that will help you make some good decisions when it comes to purchasing for your baby. Whether you are a new mom or even uh, a seasoned mom, sometimes you just may have thought about it in the same way I have. So if you're interested in knowing what my list of things are, just keep on watching. Now... I have a feeling that this video is going to be a little bit lengthy and if it is I will try to cut it into two parts but if it's not hey we're here now so let me just go ahead and jump into things so in no particular order the first thing I feel like you need in your starter kit is a good diaper rash cream now I feel like people think that they have to have a rash cream only once a rash come and that's not necessarily true you kind of want to be able to keep up maintenance here and there when it comes to the rash cream especially if you have like a little chunky muck a little I don't know because even my tiny babies we have all these creases so when they have all these creases it's easier for them to get rashes so I feel like having a good diaper rash cream is something of importance and the one that I like the most in my experience is I'm trying to grab it is this one is it upside down yeah it's the Destin Destin uh, Maximum Strength Purple Diaper Rash Cream. And I really do like this better than the, do I have it on me? I do, but it's so far away. I'll probably just show it up here, this one. Absolutely not, because it's really oily, uh, water-based type of substance. And about time I changed the baby again, I like to see evidence that you put on diaper rash cream the first time. I should see some type of residue. So I like this one because it is super thick. I really don't want it. Do I want to do it? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Um, it is really thick but creamy. And I swear when I put this on my babies, I just wiped down my leg, just accept it. I always feel like their rash heals up when it comes to down there. I love this stuff and especially when it comes to your baby being in daycare, you need this. Is it still in my hand or is that my nail? I think that's my nail. Okay, if y'all see it on my hands going forward, just, just try to ignore it. The next thing that I feel like you should have in your arsenal is gas relief drops. Before I got pregnant, I did a lot of research and I always, always, always heard of gripe water. Gripe water was like the number one thing I heard, like hiccup and gas. But me personally, I seen no evidence of that working and honestly when I had it with Nala she actually choked on it and it wasn't based off of how I was giving it to her because I am a very type of like I stay on top because I am nervous about anything going wrong and I was giving to her little by little and I swear she was choking like she go <gasps> And she couldn't really get it down and I don't know what it was. Even when she finally started taking it down, it did nothing. As a side note, I think the best thing for hiccups, and this might be controversial, I have no idea, but honestly, every single time 
with both of my girls. They get really bad hiccups. I just give them a bottle. Once I give it a bottle, they suck it a little bit. Usually the hiccups go away really fast, so. But the gas relief drops that I really like, surprisingly, is the little remedies. And it looks like this. It is a gas relief drops. It is meant to work in minutes. I have seen it work in minutes. And I also seen it take a long time. So I think it just depends on the time, how bad they constipated. It's really good. I don't know what it is, but this always seems to be the thing that works. But now I actually went to the doctor recently and he suggested, I'm not saying y'all should do this. I'm just talking about what my doctor said about my kids. And that was to give them a little bit of Miralax, like a tiny bit. And that did work well, but I don't do that often because I just feel weird about that. I don't know. And then for Nala, of course, I do that for her. And it, it works. That and prune juice gets her life together. But this is about newborns. But I'm just putting that tip into your life. The next thing that I feel like you should have is a swaddle with a zipper. Now, the one that I like the most, and I don't have one now because one dirty and she has the other one on. But those little swaddles that they kind of are like like this <laughs> i call them little pea pods if i have a picture i can put it up here but i call them little pod it pretty much don't have a lot of like arm space but they can put their arms about right here and it's so snug on them that she always falls asleep both of my babies did as well but for nala this one right here this is by uh child this might be is this halo this is a real popular one and this is really good because it can unzip from the bottom as well as the top and this one kind of gives her more space but swaddle with the zipper is gonna be your best friend because you don't have to deal with the extra material you know how uh, snug it is you can visually see it you can visually pull it and you just kind of know where you're at but because we are talking about this i do want to give this as a side note when they get around that three three to four months and this is kind of still in the newborn stage but i haven't seen this one much but i love this i actually picked this one up from what you call those consignment type of shop but th this is actually a swaddle sleep set and i swear i don't see this one much but if you can't tell this part right here is actually kind of like the swaddle of like the velcro ones but it also zips so you so you can even choose to bring one arm in two arms in and still have the comfort of the zipper to change the diaper the next thing i'm gonna say this with a combination of things so the next things are a nose frida now i know there are people out there that thinks this is disgusting listen to me you need this don't buy the bulbs First of all, I'll do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? But this right here will be your best friend. Fun fact, babies don't breathe out their mouth until they're about four months old. So when you have a baby that is stuffy, sick, crying, and it sounds like they can't breathe, you're gonna wish you had this in your life. I hope it's not dirty. It's probably dirty, whatever, because this seals the whole nostril and isn't uncomfortable for the baby with the bowls what's happening is they stick that thing so far up that it gets uncomfortable for the baby and even then it's still not sealed as much but with this it gets way all this mucus in your throat that's what i want i want everything that's sitting down here in your throat because we need the sickness to go away but along with this i will always 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 recommend getting like a boogie mist using a boogie mist spraying it up their nostril letting it sit and then using this to suction out is amazing because the boogie mist actually loosens up the mucus that are sitting along the walls now tip don't irrigate your newborn's nose do not do that at all just spray it up really quickly but using those together i feel like it's a total must the next thing that i feel like you should have is obviously tylenol you gotta have tylenol 
specifically infant Tylenol and I'm not gonna say you have to have but it's something that you really should have and the Tylenol generally comes like this with the little syringe because pretty much Tylenol is the only medicine that I believe that a newborn can take. I know Moltren is another one but typically they don't let you use Moltren until they're a little bit older but they will recommend Tylenol when your baby is sick and a lot of times too you want to get the ones with the syringe too because um, when doctors recommend certain dosages they go based off of this specific syringe so I will always recommend to have this on hand because this breaks fevers when I tell you I can do with all the other stuff Fevers? I can't do that. I ain't finna be sitting around here and have my baby have a hundred and two. Four hours on the dock, they will receive this. I don't care if they fight me, bite me, kick me. I don't care. Newborn shouldn't be doing that. But let me tell you, these little babies are strong. When it's 2 a.m. in the morning and you can't break that baby's fever and you're scared, give them this. Trust me. But do, do you that. Another thing that I recommend having for baby skin specifically is actually Aquaphor. Aquaphor has been our best friend. I have one baby that has eczema. Aquaphor has been always the thing that seems to heal her eczema. Now, eczema doesn't go away, it just gets better or worse. But one thing I recommend with this is to use this maybe when they first get up and like right after baths at night. It's just really thick, just believe me. And you'll feel like this is too much and clogging up their pores, but especially if your baby has eczema, it needs to. The next thing is a good plush blanket. I think that was probably one of the most underestimated things that I didn't have right off the bat of coming home from the hospital. And that's because like you have the swaddle blankets, but you obviously can't swaddle your baby while they're in their car seats and stuff like that. So you always want to have a good plush or cozy blanket to keep your baby warm because baby cannot sustain their temperatures. The next thing that I feel like you should absolutely have in your arsenal is burp cloths. Burp cloths is the end all be all. You would need them. I don't think you need a ton of them personally. Um, I think if you can get a good five of them, that's all you need because I have stocked off on the burp cloth. Let me tell you, there's still burp cloths I have not used yet. That's how many I have. But having burp cloths, they spit up all the time. They burp up, especially if your baby have reflux and stuff like that. You just kind of need that on hand because they will mess up your clothes. The next thing I feel like you absolutely should have, and I think this is more so for the breastfeeding moms now I do not breastfeed now with Noel at all um, I never have I already knew I didn't want to do that because I wasn't committed to the process of dealing with the work with already having one year old but if I was to breastfeed I know that I would absolutely need this because I did breastfeed with my first did I say that I breastfed with my first just not with my second so I still actually have the Bobby pillow. Now, honestly, I really did like this, but there was a lot of things that annoyed me about this. So because of that, I would recommend you having the My Best Breast Friend um, as far as for a nursing pillow. My Breast Friend is so amazing because it actually connects around you i don't know if you see that yet but it actually snaps around you and it don't budge that was the most annoying thing in the hospital breastfeeding with nala with the bobby pillow is that when i was uh using it to prop her up while i was breastfeeding it would slide and the readjusting, the readjusting, the readjusting is so annoying with this you're not gonna get that as well as y'all see this that is a whole pocket for you. I used to like stick my phone in the little accessories that I would use to breastfeed her in. One thing I still love about the My Breast Friend is that it has this little divot for her body. So I would lay her sideways. This would be her stomach. 
this will be like over her feet and her head would be over here to help prop her head up to be able to grasp the nipple properly and that was like a game changer the next thing that i would recommend is some sort of baby swing and i would not necessarily recommend the mama root uh over a swing so this is why i would say get a swing of some sort and not a mamaru because i don't feel like you can have your baby in a mamaru for a long period of time the bucket isn't deep enough or wide enough to keep your baby in it for a long time the infant insert i feel like is kind of laughable low-key i have never felt that was a good infant insert for it now i'm not gonna say that my babies hated it they didn't they they actually really liked the mamaru but the thing is is that did you get your fool's money's worth out of it now one thing i will say that if you do did get it i wouldn't be quick to trash it give it a little time because you might end up using it later so going to the point of the whole baby swing thing i would recommend actually having a swing that goes sideways for some reason, I think the baby's going sideways seems to be a better motion that babies actually like sleeping in because I feel like when they do the front and back thing, they kind of get that little, a slight whiplash that they don't tend to like. So, uh, I would tell you what swing I got, but it's actually discontinued. For whatever reason, I don't know, but I absolutely love my swing. It's a little princess swing and it's absolutely amazing to me. And Nala actually used that party around one because the sleep training was rough but having yet again another alternative and what your baby can relax in is of importance another thing that i feel like you absolutely need is slow flow nipples now it's so funny how a lot of bottles actually come with standard size nipples it honestly took me a while to notice that but i think having the slow flow nipples is a good pace for a newborn to be able to suckle and to learn strength and to work harder especially for like breastfeeding moms who also bottle feed you definitely want to have like a zero uh flow nipple so that they can work harder for the milk and i find that when they work harder for the milk it makes them more tired and they don't overeat the next thing that i definitely feel like you need to have and i'm gonna show this one before the camera die and that is a good baby monitor now these are my baby sleeping because it's hella early in the morning and it's just switching between both babies but you see my big girl over there sleep in the corner and then you just see my baby girl who's in her little swaddle and I can turn it up the brightness these rooms are actually pitch dark you can actually see them very well now having a good camera that has good color during the day night vision at night as well as i think you should have a good baby monitor that has the capability of adding more cameras to it down the road because how expensive baby monitors are you definitely don't want to be rushing back out to buy another one just because yours isn't compatible to add multiple cameras to it like nobody got time for that my specific one is the summer infant in view and one thing i love about it is that you can monitor the noise i don't know if you can see that red bar the red bar is you can actually be able to tell if your baby's crying by seeing the voice meter go up and down without actually hearing the baby so i really do like that the only con with this one is that i wish it actually clipped to your body i wish i could just take this and be like clip you know so i could just have it near me or near my ear or this specific one like i said they have a plus version of this that can actually like rotate around the room this one can't it does zoom it does for pretty much everything i needed to do but if you do decide to get the summer infant in view ones either or i would suggest definitely looking at the summer infant website i have noticed that they're a lot cheaper on there 
but having a baby monitor is a must. Like you have to, especially when it comes to sleep training, it's just your sanity, your life, getting your life together. You need to have a baby monitor to be able to sit your baby down, get your me time. It makes life easier. So I definitely think I'm gonna go ahead and stop part one at this point but i definitely will be making a part two because your girl getting tired and it's actually really late it's like four o'clock in the morning but i hope you really do appreciate the notes that i'll give you so far so i'm gonna go ahead and call this one a night and i'll definitely see you guys in the next one make sure you comment down below and tell me what you think if you have any questions concerns or even advice just go ahead and put that down below and like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll definitely see you in part two